You know what? I just came to I idea like a realizing something. And I just started realizing that your time is precious. And then and you're like being like you you is valuable. So like when you have like friends and stuff like that, right? And they're coming around and they're hanging out with you, but they're not bringing nothing to the table. And I don't mean as in like you using them as an individual just to have them around. But I'm saying is that, you know, let's say for instance, I want to become something bigger and greater than who I am right now today, right? And so I seen this post on Facebook that says, um, that we are not like literally just born to go to work and be satisfied and just die and live off of retirement and then like i like i agreed with that right like i don't want that like i don't want to go to work every single day busting my ass to only have like 10 years left on my retirement and then i'm dead like to enjoy my life like 10 years after that to enjoy my life and then i'm dead like no like that's not living that's not life and you know, some people are okay with that, and I'm not. Like, I don't want to live my life like that. So when I say, like, having certain friends around and being around certain people, sometimes that stuff got to get limited. Because what I value and what I want out of life and what you value and what you want out of life are two total different things. So how am I going to become... A greater and better version of myself of what I want and what I aspire for if I'm sitting around hanging around somebody that don't want the same thing as me you get what I'm saying so let's say Johnny want to go to work all day and clock in punch the clock but he don't want nothing else for his life but yeah he's sitting up here talk about his dreams and his goals and what he wants and then turns around and says no nah, I don't really want that like that's not the type of person you want to be around why would you want to be around somebody like that? Why don't you want to be around somebody that, that uplifts you, encourages you to do better, you know, wants to see you make it to your destination and to your goal? Me sitting around somebody that don't want greater in life and just it just is okay with going to work, punching a clock and, and retiring, that's it, and that's their life, and oh, I'm okay, and I'm comfortable with just living off my retirement. No, sweetheart, no. Like, I'm not living my life to just be okay and accepting of that. Like, literally, no. Like, that's not what I want my life to be like. And it's okay to, like, stop hanging around certain people. It's okay to stop being around certain people. Like, it doesn't, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm better than you or I'm, you know, I'm not none of that. We can still be friends. We can agree to disagree, bro. But our my time with you is going to be limited because that's putting me down. You know what I'm saying? Like being around that type of energy is putting me down and it's making me slump. You know what I'm saying? God is good. I don't want to be slump. I want to be up. I want to have the energy that I'm supposed to have so I can create and keep building the empire that I want. You know what I'm saying? So being around people that, that have no dreams, that have no asp aspiration, that have no desire, but just to retire and be okay with that. Like, no. I want to be around people that are uplifting. I want to be around people that have goals. I want to be around people that aspire for more in life. I want to be around people that put themselves out there. I want to be around people... That is just not okay with clocking in and the nine to five. I want to be around people that are in business, okay? I want to be around like-minded individuals. And I'm a like-minded individual. I'm trying to see my way out. I'm trying to figure it out. And all these distractions and people coming around is distracting me. And it's making me feel some type of way. And I can't be held down like that. I don't want to be a part of your your comfortability, you know what I'm saying? I can't be like that. I'm not okay with being comfortable. I, I sat being comfortable for too long. It's time to get up. It's time to rise. It's time to shine. It's time to put myself out there. It's time to make shit happen. You hear me? Okay.
We not about to just be sitting around being no fucking lazy bum, just accepting life as is. No. There's so much more to life than what we eat having right now. Like, there's so much. It's so much to life. Why are we comfortable with just going to work, getting off, and sitting on our couch and watching TV? No. No. There's so much out here to be learning. It's so much out here like books, learning the knowledge, learning the wisdom. Why are we sitting on a couch watching TV all damn day after we get off of work? Get up and do something. I don't give a fuck about you getting off of work. You tired. What did you do? What did we really do today? Really? We really think about it. What do we really do to benefit ourselves for the future? When are we going to start doing something to benefit ourselves for the future? When are we going to stop making excuses? When are we going to start improving ourselves for better for our children and our other generations to come? When are we going to start doing that? It's time to get up. It's time to start rising. It's time to start shining. It's time to put your foot on their necks of the naysayers and the critics. It's time to fucking stop them. You know what I'm saying? It's time to stop on their ass. Get all up in there. For real. This shit gotta stop. No, bro. I don't want to hang out. If it's not benefiting me. If it's not making me no money. If you ain't talking about becoming the better version of yourself the next day. I don't want to hang out. You can't come over here. You gotta go. You gotta go, son. You gotta go. What you say? You say the same thing, huh? Mm -hmm. He said the same thing. Anyways, I gotta go. Peace.